All right, Jamarcus, I don't know if robotics was offered when you were in school, but not like this. And this team from Severe Middle School is just rocking it. Say hello to Miss Christine. How are you? Hi, I'm so glad to be here. Okay, I can't wait for you to tell us about Severe Middle School and the robotics team, but I want to introduce the kids real fast, guys. I'm going to let you all say your name and what team you're on. We are the Men in Black. I am David. I'm Cameron. I'm Peter. And we are the Raptors, and I'm Hazel. I'm Olivia. I'm Nina. I'm Nairi. We are the Titans. I'm Cannon. I'm Luke. I'm Dimitri. Y'all are awesome. Now, we have different teams. Why are there different teams, and what have they been doing? So we like to keep our team small at Severe Middle School, so all the kids really get a hands-on exp hands experience. And so we have eight to 12 different teams every year at Severe Middle School, and these three actually made it to world. So they're gonna be competing against over 500 teams from across the world um, in Dallas, Texas next week. Worlds, not states, worlds. not. Yes, we didn't, we didn't have this in school. So this is an incredible program to even have. And talk about some of the skills they learn. We hear a lot about STEAM and STEM programs. I mean, this is it in action. So a lot of people focus on the building of the robot and the coding, and while that is so important to my students in our program, what I really see are the soft skills. They are learning to work together. They are learning to communicate. They have to document all of their work. They also have to go before judges and explain everything and why do they have these ideas and how does it work. So really it's those skills, working together, and it's never stopping. They're in my morning every room working. They take the robots home. So it's that drive and determination, that working together, along with coding, building, programming, designing. When do they get to get involved with this, right? When they get to middle school, sixth grade? So with our program, yes, we start out with, there's two different versions of this. So we start out with a smaller version for the sixth graders. And then in seventh grade, they get to choose whether to stay with the smaller version or move up to what we call the metal version. And then eighth grade, most of them are doing metal. And then they hopefully go to high school and continue on. Wow. I'm going to walk and come talk to the wanna, kids yeah, for a second. Okay, what was your team name again? Men in Black. Okay, Men in Black. Which ones did y'all come up with? Uh, we came up with this robot right here. What does it do? Yeah. Does it uh, <laughs> sometimes it's, it sometimes works. Um, so it's not actually really finished right now. We only have the front lift on, which clamps onto a mobile goal, and it picks it up and puts it on the platform to get us 40 points. Wow. What's your favorite part about robotics? Uh, just probably the thrill of it, competing against other teams from throughout the state and across the world. I love it. We got to talk to the ladies, too, because I love that ladies are getting more involved in this. Why did y'all want to get involved in robotics? Because <laughs> um, I feel like when you think of, like, an engineer, someone you mostly think of men. And so, like, this just shows that girls can do it, too, and it's not just boys. That's right, Christine. Good job. What? Tell me about your robot. What did y'all come up with? Um, this is our robot, and it lifts the mobile goals. And we're still working out a few um, kinks in it. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've been through a lot of redesigning and stuff. So we're proud of this design. I'm proud of the design too. I think it's way more than anything I could have done. Okay. Last but not least, tell us the team name again. Titans. The Titans. And what did y'all come up with? This one? Um, it's a, a claw bot with a mogul mesh, I think is what it's called, and a conveyor belt in the middle to put the rings on top of the mobile goals. So that, and then we added pneumatics, which is pistons, so the claw can grab down easier and faster other, and quicker sure. before other teams. I think that is amazing. How did y'all even get into robotics? We all like really good at building Legos and stuff growing up, and then it kind of moved into that? Uh, kind of. I mean, I've always been decent at building, so I just thought it would be fun. I've totally. done it for three years now. And what is it like competing? And y'all are getting ready to go to Texas, right? Yes. So it's got to be not getting stressed so easy. It's probably the most important part, and stay calm to win. Just stay calm and keep doing Yes. Right? Keep doing what you're doing. So, Christine, when do y'all go to Texas and kind of tell us what we can expect? We leave on Tuesday morning to fly out. The kids will check in and then they will um, they'll start competing. They'll make sure that their robots are able to compete. They have to be a certain size, certain motors, make sure they use the correct parts. And then they're going to figure out who they're competing against, go meet with their alliances, and start competing to rank them in an order and hopefully we'll bring home a prize. 
Well, based on the hardware that you guys already have, I think you're going to probably bring home a little something, something we hope. And congratulations to all of you. I know it takes a lot of work to be able to do something like this. I mean, I can't even put like a basic Lego set together. So to see these kids that are being able to, to do this is really incredible. Super impressive. And it's going to lead to big things down the road. No matter what y'all do, y'all have already winners. So good luck and y'all have a good time. Christina, people are, are watching at home. Do you need like money to help go to Texas? What could we do real quick? This has been a big year for us um, because we're having a fly. So yes, we are looking for donations to help us fly to Texas, hotel rooms and food as well to help feed these guys. And then always robots are expensive. So making sure that we have the right equipment and updated equipment is a big expense. And yeah, we do that through donations to keep the cost low for the students so I can have as many students be a part of it as possible. Well, you were awesome. Thank you for getting everybody out of school to come. I know that was a bummer having to miss a little bit of school. So it takes great teachers to be able to do something like this too. I mean, thank you. You imagine even like teaching what it meant. I'd be like, all right, yeah, we're gonna watch a YouTube video, and um, <laughs> I really want to know what happens over here. Like, oh, maybe we'll take some of that on our Facebook page and, <laughs> and I really post it. See what happens. Love it. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it.